Welcome back to part three. Now, as I said, uh, we're going to we're going to port this texture over here uh, to the right side, and then we're going to cut it where it's supposed to be. Actually, we can get rid of these window blanks too. By the way, this extra layer that we made, we don't need it anymore. Uh, then we're going to cut both sides and move it over and align it with the right uh, with fuselage two here, which is signified by this blue cheat line. Um, if you don't want to accidentally move those, which I have a bad habit of doing, you can just go to view here and lock guides. That will keep you from being able to move those. So I suggest you do that. Because if you move that, then just don't do it. All right. In order to get this over to the right side of the aircraft, it doesn't have to be 100% exactly in place because it could be slightly shifted and it's going to be mirrored anyways. It's going to be flipped uh, 180 degrees. So the best way to do this one, this is easy, uh, but when we go to do the lines, we'll have to be exact on those because we need them to meet together at the nose when it's displayed on the 3D model. So we'll go ahead and um, we're just going to duplicate this layer here. That is the best way to do it. I could select it and copy it and paste it, but then it's not going to keep its uh, color overlay. We're going to have to do that again. So in order to keep all this, everything we've done to it, we're just going to right click, going to duplicate it. And Alaska text, right. And it's going to, it's right over top of the original. So we'll take our move tool here. You can hold down on shift and that moves it only in horizontal or vertical depending on what direction you're going. Hold shift, move it up. And uh, this text will need to be flipped 180 degrees. Edit, transform, rotate 180. Now you can see it's still aligned with this one here. Uh, halfway through the cockpit, halfway through the two windows or it will be. And uh, all you gotta do is set the up and down. So. We'll open up our texture that shows our right side. And you can see it's just like the left side. It's just slightly below the window line here, your A and S, and also the top of your A here. So we'll just move that, and then you can fine tune it with your arrow keys. Should be about perfect. Hold down on Shift, and if you want, you can move around this one. I was talking about if you hold on Shift, it gives you the hand tool. You can drag around, look at your pe your texture. It looks pretty good, pretty pretty spot on. So, with that done, now we are ready to cut these textures and move them over. I'm gonna do them one at a time. You could merge the two together and do it, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, I like to keep everything separate in case I need to change it later. Because as soon as you merge them together, you're gonna to realize, hey, I should I, I should have done that. I need to change it. So, let's zoom in to get a we're going to make a selection around this part here that's at the end of the fuselage uh, the part that we're going to cut off and we're going to zoom into 100 percent use your arrow keys uh, with the selection to move that over there we go right up to the edge of where we need it now we're going to need to transfer this over here so if i were to with selection with on, if we're stayed on the selection, if we're to click in here and drag it, all it's going to do is move our selection window. We don't want to do that. So we'll go here, and inside here you'll see it your little arrow has a pair of scissors next to it, signifying it's going to cut. And that thing just moved itself in the right spot. Well, let me put that back where it's supposed to be. I'm glad I noticed that. All right, so we're going to cut this out and hold shift and move it over here. We're going to align it with this blue uh, guide. And actually, it, that was pretty good. It lined itself right up. Good. Control D, deselect. There. Now that one is cut properly from fuselage one to fuselage two. And we'll do the same thing for the, right, uh, the top half here. Make sure you select the uh, the right side layer. Otherwise, it won't it won't select anything. Always zoom into 100 percent to make sure you're in the right spot. Because sometimes when you're at 50, it can it can screw things up. 
Let me see if I can drag it over. I say hold shift that way you don't move it up or down because when you go to look at it in 3D, it's going to be out of whack. All right, so that's done. Uh, do a save. Always save it as often as you can. I'm not going to do it because it takes too long to save while I'm running Hypercam. So, but uh, save often in case you lose power or you accidentally close it or something like that. All right, we don't need this Alaska text anymore. Kind of keep a clean workspace here, as few windows open as possible. All right, with that done, now we're ready to do our cheat lines here. They go the length of the fuselage. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with the small one here. As I said, I've already done this once, so I'm going to activate my cheat layer here. You can do it however wide you want to do it. I have my little, my little shortcut lines here. Just eyeball it. Get it about as close as you can. Um, you don't have to do the entire thing with one. Uh, you can just lay down a, a selection, and if you want to modify it from there, you just right click inside of it, transform selection, and just then you can, oop, there you go. You can just drag it down. I do it this way, it keeps me from screwing up as I, because when you do this with a mouse, it's real easy to move up and down when you meant to not do so. So hit enter, there we go. Now we're going to make a new layer, and this is going to be our green line. So we'll open up my little color thing here, aqua blue, copy, go in here, paste it in, okay, and we're going to paint bucket that in, right, make sure you click in the selection, you click out here, you're going to end up painting out here. So. Oh, I forgot to. Huh, that's weird. I thought I made a new layer, but I guess I didn't. So we'll make the new layer again. Now we're pasting there. There we go. Control D. I know it's going through the text. We're going to fix that in a minute. I don't have to worry about it right now, though. Let's go ahead and get the other line down. We'll zoom back in. Use my little cheat lines here. Your paint kit will not have cheat lines. This is research ahead of time that saves you precious Photoshop hours. Same thing. Drag it across. You can either double click in there or you just hit enter. And this will be the the blue color, Alaska blue. New layer, because we don't want to paint over top of that one. Alaska blue. Okay. And paint that in. Control D. There we go. Now we got our two cheat lines down. Now we'll go ahead and put the the belly line, which is the gray color. All right. My daughter's watching uh, Extreme Couponing in the living room, if you happen to hear it in the background. Like I said, I am watching kids today, so I apologize if you hear kids screaming and yelling. My kids tend to scream and yell. I don't know why. Our belly color is gray or translated to color code as ba ba ba. So it's ba 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 belly. That's the ba 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 belly color. And poof. Control D, deselect. Good deal. Why it looks darker here is because that's that midsection. You don't have to worry about it. We can leave it all in there. We don't have to sit there and cut that out. Because it's not going to display when we put it on the model anyways. Alright. Before we cut these, we need to transfer them to the top. Because the cut will be different on both sides. So, get a drink there. And check my timer. 
Make sure we're not getting too far. Okay, we got a couple minutes here. All right, what you got to do in order to transfer these and have them line up exactly on both sides is you got to find something common, like a, a fuselage line, a cross section, something like that that is the same on both sides. As you can see, this cross section goes straight across here. Okay, uh, it may not have the same top and bottom window intersection, but we're gonna we're gonna hopefully hopefully it will. We'll, we'll try. So, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I know it sounds crazy. I mean, you're probably thinking, "Gear, what the hell are you talking about?" Okay, you see this little section here, this crossroads of lines with our layer one eighty three is our green line. It doesn't matter what color you select. You're gonna take your pencil tool and you're gonna change the brush size down to one pixel. Actually, yeah, two pixels because this is so zoomed in. Two pixels, and you're gonna left click one time, bam, right there. Now, we are also gonna put another one in this other section here, which is above the windows. What that's going to do is when we paste this line to the other side, we can take these two dots and line them up to the same two intersections on the right side of the aircraft. Therefore, that puts our cheat line exactly in line with both sides. So, you want to do the same thing for as you did for the green line, as you do for the blue. So go ahead and do your dots for the blue as well. And uh, the dots all use the same same color. It doesn't matter, like I said. I just have the blue line selected now. So put them on top of each other. All right, so. Now, take layer 183 and duplicate it. OK. I'm going to drag it up. We're going to need to flip this thing vertical because it's upside down on this side. Zoom in. There we go. I'm going to take those and see our two dots here. There's one here, one here. And we're going to line them up with the crossroads on this side. One there. I think this one's going to be in the text, but you can still see it. Faintly. There you go. That line is done. Now let's copy this one. Duplicate this layer. Okay. Drag it up. Oh, I put both of them. Hey, that works out anyways. I didn't realize I put the belly and that one on the same texture. Transform, flip vertical. Oh, you hear that? Now my one, my two-year-old is growling at my uh, daughter. That could be a problem. That I may need to tend to. He's a little bit of an animal. I apologize. According to my wife, he's just like his father. Alright, we're going to delete our dots here for both our duplicated layers, and we'll do the same thing for both sides. Delete the dots. Okay. Alright, so our lines are done for both sides. And they are lined up, even the belly here, which is good. And uh, when we come back, we're going to cut, uh, cut the lines out of the text. So. We'll see you back in just a second.